On behalf of the investigate of the syntaxes freedom pre-combat and uh, best trial, I would like to review some lessons from the syntax at uh, 10 years and more specifically talk about uh, syntax score to 2020 an individualized decision making between PCI and cabbage in complex coronary artery disease. I thank the uh, board of the ABC for this uh, kind uh, invitation. The background of the Syntax Core 2020 is that randomized trials are the gold standard for testing the effectiveness of novel treatment. Average treatment effects are typically reported in uh, randomized trials. However, treatment effectiveness can vary across individual patients. Average treatment effect may be suboptimal for decision making in individual patients. The Syntax Core 2, initially published in The Lancet in 2013, derived from two angiographic and six clinical variables, provides us an individualized decision making based on four years old cause mortality after either cabbage or PCI. And using the data of 10 years follow-up of syntax extended survival, published also in the Lancet, we thought to update the Syntax 2 version 2020, published this week in the Lancet, for prediction of 10 years mortality and 5 years maze, and to externally validate on data of the trial freedom best pre-combat to validate the syntax score to 2034 is ability to predict treatment benefit in mortality and maze. You see here the average treatment effect as a summary result for 10 years all cause death in the syntaxes. The all cause death in the cabbage was 24.5% and PCI 28.4%, an hazard ratio of 1.19, an increased risk of 19%, with 95% confidence interval just between 0.99 and 1.43, a p value of 0.066. Now, the question is, based on the average treatment effect, should you send all your patients to surgery? The response is, of course, not. Today, we are developing decision tool to improve personalized care in cardiovascular disease. We are moving the heart of medicine towards science. In panel A, you see the average treatment effect assessed in an heterogeneous population. And as you could see, uh, looking at the average treatment effect, uh, we have a, a mixture of patients who will be armed in red, who will be armed by the new treatment, uh, in green, the one who are going to benefit from the new treatment, and in blue, for which uh, both treatments are equipoise. And looking at the average treatment effect, you have that kind of a mixed back, multicolor, small men, uh, you cannot decide it. So it's very important to identify the heterogeneous response to treatment, to segregate the patient population based on treatment response and identify in advance who is going to be armed by the new treatment, who is going to benefit from the new treatment and who for him, for the patient for whom both treatment are a The Syntax Core 2020, just published in the Lancet, was redeveloped to predict the 10 years mortality and the 5 years maze in the Syntax trial. And we externally validate this result in Freedom Best Pre Combat Trial. You see, there is seven prognostic index and two uh, modifier of this index the anatomical syntax score and the disease type, three vessel disease of left main. Current smoking is there, is new, uh, came mainly from Freedom and Syntax. Uh, diabetes is back in the game, gender has disappeared, 
and the other factors are still there, age, creatinine clearance, ejection fracture, COPD, and peripheral vascular disease. And what we have produced is a probabilistic formula uh, so that if you want to send the patient to bypass surgery, you use this formula with the blue term. If you want to send the patient to PCI, you have to use the red term and you get the 10 years probability in the two options. And we have similar something similar for the uh, five years uh, maze prediction of five years uh, maze. What you see here is the cost validation of the 10 years mortality in the syntaxis 1800 patient. Uh, you see here a calibration plot with the quartile of the whole population on the vertical axis, the observed 10 years mortality after PCI versus the predict 10 years mortality. It's a remarkable uh, regression line with a slope of 0.96 and an intercept of zero. And we have uh, for cabbage a similar calibration plot, population divide in quartile, excellent slope and intercept. Now what we did is that using these two relationships, we look at the difference in 10 years mortality called treatment benefit of cabbage versus PCI. And again, you see a relatively good regression line. Uh, one quarter of the patient will be better with PCI is better in one quarter of the population. Um, one quart is uh, 80 poires, and in the last two quarter, uh, cabbage is better. Now, we would like to translate that in kaplan mayer curve, and in the case, in the first quartile with PCI better, we see that the survival of PCI in red is superior to the uh, survival of the cabbage patient. In the second quartile, we have, uh, and basically the absolute risk is in favor of the uh, PCI. In the second quartile, uh, equipoise, we see the two curves strictly superimposed, and uh, the absolute risk difference is close to zero. In the last two quartile, we see that the survival of uh, uh, the patient is better with uh, cabbage and the curve diverge and keep diverging and you see that the absolute risk difference is 6.1 percent and 11 point. Uh, in this uh, next slide you see the external validation of the five years maze model in the freedom best and pre combat trial uh, 3,380 patients, same type of uh, presentation, and you can see again uh, the difference this time in five years maze called treatment benefit between uh, cabbage and PCI with the absolutely risk difference in favor of bypass surgery or in favor of uh, PCI. This is my last slide, which is available on the smartphone and on the website. This is case one, 74 years old, an abnormal creatinine clearance with 38.6 ml, an ejection fraction abnormal with 40%, current smoker, a left main disease, but a very simple left main disease with an anatomic, anatomical syntax score of 11. And as you could see, uh, the 10 years uh, mortality is lower with PCI than with cabbage by about 10%. And similarly, the maze at five years is better with PCI than with bypass surgery by 13%. In the second case, we have a rather young patient, 59, is diabetic but not insulinodependent. Uh, good creatinine clearance, at least above uh, 60 ml, good ejection fraction, a three vessel disease, but according to the anatomical syntax score, very simple, a score of 10. And you see basically 
Equipoise in mortality between bypass surgery and PCI, mortality at 10 years around 10-11%, and the MACE rate about 8.4-9.3. Uh, Equipoise and probably the patient will be sent to PCI. In the third patient, 69, diabetes, insulinodependent this time, creatinine clearance is maintained, ejection fraction is fine, a three vessel disease, but a terribly higher uh, anatomical syntax score. And you see that at 10 years, there is a gradient of 20% in all cause mortality, uh, the mortality of bypass surgery being clearly better by uh, 20%. And the MACE rate at five years is also better with bypass surgery by 20%. So you have to, it's an ethical must, to go to bypass surgery. In conclusion, using data from the randomized syntax trial, we have updated and externally validated syntax score to 2020, a personalized predictive model based on seven prognostic factors and two pre-specified effect modifier. One is the disease type, three vessel disease of left main and the other is the classical anatomical syntax score and then we can predict the 10 years old cause death and the five years maze for patient treated with either PCI of cabbage. Now by providing expected probabilities of five and ten years outcome this model may improve the ability of the heart team to inform patients and their families regarding the risk and benefit of alternative treatment for complex CAD and support a more transparent shared decision-making process. Once again, thank you for the EBC board to have invited me to present this new data. Thank you very much.